Hello, hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are ready to do a little bit of climbing. So we are doing a pyramid workout today. So um, some of this might be completely new for you if you just started working out with me. Um, I've done a few pyramids in the past, um, but they were pretty early on. I know it's been a minute since I uh, hooked you guys up with the pyramid. So I thought I would do sort of like I did last week and uh, duplicate, not identically, but duplicate the concept of our workouts back to back. Um, you know, when I first started these videos, I thought this would be temporary, you know, it was a uh, Let's help people out during the pandemic and with something to do at home, but clearly it's evolved um, into, gosh, it's been six, almost six months now that I've been doing these videos, I guess five, a little over five. So um, so now I'm just kind of thinking of, of other ways that we can work out together. So um, if you've been with me this whole time, clearly you're committed and you're interested in learning about fitness. So kind of duplicating efforts, spending two workouts back to back, doing something similar as far as the style, um, just to get an idea and to really um, focus and learn about that concept of working out instead of just doing it and forgetting about it and not visiting it again for another six weeks or so. So we're gonna do an upper body pyramid today and then our next workout is gonna be a lower body pyramid. So um, in full disclosure, um, I'm having a lot of middle back and upper back issues uh, today, which uh, not the best timing for the upper body workout. Um, just, you know, you guys know I have a lot of structural issues and um, been under a lot of stress lately and I think there's just a whole lot of contributing factors. And so my, my upper body's kind of locked up. My chiropractor couldn't even really get it to move yesterday. So um, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna, I've got my normal weight set out, but just lesson to you, I only bring that up because Charlie and I were just chatting about it, you know, I'm not the only one that has chronic pain or periodic pain, and I'm not the only one that has the structural issues, and so I just bring it up to, to let you know that you're not alone if you have these kind of struggles, and we can still get through it. We're still going to do the work. I didn't cancel the workout. Um, I set up my normal weights, but I'm going to listen, so that's the important thing is listen. If I start doing my normal weight selection, and I'm like, hmm, then I'm going to listen. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to change it. So there's nothing that's not punishable, that's not quitting, that's not failing, that's not losing. It's just being smart and listening to your body. I think Tuesday I kind of pushed through some things that I knew that weren't right and uh, kind of got myself in a pickle. So bear with me today, but I think it'll be just fine. And uh, I just, again, bring all that up so you know that it's okay and that we can work through these things. So um, upper body pyramid. So what a pyramid looks like, just super quick and dirty rundown is we start, we've got a set of exercises, we start at five reps, 10, 15, 20, doing a different exercise with each rep, so it's not like we're doing five push-ups, then 10 push-ups, then 15, no. Each exercise has a set of reps attached to it, so we're gonna go five in increments of five all the way to 50. Once we get to 50, then we stop, we take a little break, and then we start at 50 and go back to the top. So I'm gonna aim for about an hour of work as usual. Um, so, 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 right around there. So it doesn't really matter um, you know, if we make it up and down an even amount of times, so anything like that. Um, so because we are gonna be going up to 50 reps for some exercises, of course I wrote exercises that are appropriate to do 50 and 40 reps of, but still, it's a lot. So that's why I said to get into, segue into our equipment, is bring a full weight selection, whatever you have, bring it to the party. Because we're gonna do some stuff in the high, in the lower rep range, or we might, might want, you know, 15, 20 pounds, something like that if we have it, or whatever heavy is to you. Um, but once we get down into the 40s, the 50, things like that, we are definitely, the exercises are written to be with lighter weights, but we're gonna also be fatigued, so you're gonna want some lighter weight. So that's why I said bring everything to the party, as always, the first round is a little rocky, but we get through it. This isn't timed, so it's no big deal. It's not nearly as rushed as when we do something timed. So I say rocky just because you have to learn what the exercise is and how to do it. But again, it's not timed, it's for reps, so much easier that way. So again, all you need, full weight selection, whatever you got, bring it to the game, and then your yoga mat floor support. We are going to start in the floor. 
So we've got push-ups, pull-overs, press. Okay. We've got about five of the first exercises are all going to be in the floor. So, um, you know, go ahead and get your weights kind of set up where you would be in the floor because that's where we're going to start. So let's see, we've covered what pyramid style is, all reps, no timers, have all your weights handy. Of course, modify as needed. If we're doing something that's 40 reps, 30 reps, that you're like, holy smokes, I cannot do that many, then just go to a lighter weight or lose the weight and finish the set. Whatever you want to do. So if we're in 35 reps of something and you're at 25 and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't either drop the weights and pick up a lighter set or just drop the weights, finish the set with no weight. Whatever you want to do. Modify as needed. And as always, just my last couple notes, add music if you want it. Um, I will be checking Facebook for questions as we get to the bottom and the top of the pyramid, and of course, before we get started. So send me any questions that you have. And then as always, I just ask that you share these workouts, share what we're doing. Um, I feel, you know, some things that make these workouts special is sort of like the thing that I just shared with you about pain and, and working with pain. and. You know, um, a lot of fitness instructors, and I don't mean here locally because we have a great scene here in my local area, but, you know, put out their best them and it's edited and it's perfect and they're smiling and they're never in pain and you know, they don't know what you're talking about, you know? So I just like that. I feel this is relatable. I'm honest with you guys and uh, I'm alive. So you're getting what you get here. <laughs> so share, share, share if you feel inclined. And if you would like to Venmo me any donations for these classes, it is the only payment I receive for these classes, so it is surely appreciated. At Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. All right, so I'm gonna grab a drink of water, check the video as always, and then we will get started. So again, you wanna go ahead and get yourself set up in the floor. And since the first couple exercises in the floor are going to be the low amount of reps, this is where you'll probably want your heavier weights if you have them. So again, have everything close by, but you're going to be thinking heavier reps for this first portion. And then once we get to standing, weight selection is probably going to go down. All right, I'm going to grab that water, check the video, give me just a moment, and we'll get started. Tap the floor, 
pull it back over. So I want you to think about your back muscles here. Back muscles lowering, back muscles squeeze, pull over. Don't think so much about your arms. Three. Think about your arms are just kind of along for the ride. Four. They're hanging on to the weight for you, but you don't want to do much else. Five. Six. Engage that back. Lower. Pull with your back. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Beautiful. Ten. All right. So you can set that weight off to the side if it's not incredibly heavy. Or set it up, put it down. We're going to grab. Woo, that was a weird noise. <laughs> We're going to grab for our bench press. So again, now you've got two weights probably towards your heavier side. I like to kick them back with my knees. I have them over my chest. Not my neck, not my head, over my chest. And when we drop down, they should stay in line with our chest. If you drop straight out of your shoulders, they're gonna end up up here, okay? So, let's go, we've got 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Good. So you should feel a big stretch at the bottom. 10. And then where you feel that stretch at the bottom, that's where you squeeze. 9. To lift back up. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. Almost there. 3. Two, last one, one, perfect. All right, you can set those weights down. I'm gonna come up again, just take it easy. I'm also pointing this out because of my laundry list of current problems. I also have a, just, a, just genetics as far as I know, a problem that I get periodic vertigo, and I also have that happening right now. So, you know, just a barrel of laughs. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've got our seated alternating overhead press. So we're going to go for 20. So that's going to be 10 each arm. So this is the place where oh, we might start to consider our weight selection. I'm going to try to do my normal overhead press weight. We'll see. All right, so we sit. You are, this is probably your best way to sit, but if this is hardly uncomfortable, you can sit cross legged as well. You're going to get a lot of extra core challenge from doing this seated, because you don't have your legs to support you. So you've also got to support that core while you've got these weights out to your sides, okay? All right, so let's load it up. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Hold that core nice and tight, keep it engaged. 12, that doesn't mean suck it in. 11, 10, 9, 8, Woo, getting heavy, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Woo. yeah y'all, all right. Last weights that we're going to need while we're on the floor. So you can kind of set those off to the side. And we're going to do our plank saw. So if you're not familiar with the saw, I'll set it up for you real quick. We are going to have our hands at 11s underneath us. We want to do this. It feels more comfortable because most of us are like this. Because we sit at desks, we work on tablets and phones. So... When we do this, that puts our shoulders in a more comfortable position. I want you to try to open them up and do those 11s. Trust me, I know I'm asking a lot. It's not easy. So we go to the low plank, we lock that core in, and we rock 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 
20, 19, your shoulders are going to be on fire, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, woo, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. I know. I know. <laughs> All right. Perfect, guys. So we are going to be standing up until we get to 50. At 50, we'll have one more in the floor. Okay? All right. So we've got 30 alternating bicep curls. So we are still working in that rep range where you might be able to do your normal bicep curl weight. That's going to be 15 with each arm. I'm going to give it a shot. But you may need to drop. Just think about it. I'm not encouraging you, but just think about it. All right. We've got alternating bicep curls. I'll let you pick. We can do here. We can do hammer. Or you can twist. I think I'm going to go with the twist. That's one I don't do too often. All right. Let's go. 30. 28. 26, 25, oh no, 24, ha! 22, 20, 18, good, make sure you're not rushing, 16, just because you know the rep that they were ending on, you know the amount, 14, doesn't mean that we speed through it. 12, 10, 8, Ooh, there it goes, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, <laughs> last, 2, 1, beautiful guys, good work. All right, so we are going now to what I'm calling a bent arm side raise and a bent arm front raise. So this is one you're definitely gonna want to go light on. I'm gonna try 10 and see. We'll see, okay? So we're doing 35 of those. Again, it's a combination movement. I'm gonna be kind and I'm gonna count each part of the combination. So instead of saying one, two, because I think we'd all die before we got to 35, I'm going to count it one, two, all right? So we keep our shoulders locked back, arms at 90, one, two. So those arms stay at 90, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, Woo, getting heavy already, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I'm going to drop my weights at 20, 19, 20, I'm dropping weights, you can keep going if you want, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, when did five pounds get so heavy? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Whew, okay. tricep kickbacks. Again, that's going to be a lot of kickbacks. So I'm probably going to do the same. I'm going to start with 10 and then go to 5 when I need to drop. Perfectly acceptable, guys. Let me tell you, when I went to those 5s, it really still felt like I was moving the 10s. <laughs> it's a nice, it's a little break, but it is not taking the pressure off, right? It's taking it from like a 10 
on the boil to like a eight on the boil, okay? All right, so we've got alternating tricep kickbacks. And get those shoulders back and down. Set that booty back just a little bit. Weights out in front. And we kick back. Two. Four. Again, we're squeezing back. Six. So we're not swinging back. Eight. We're squeezing. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Hang tough, guys. Twenty-two, twenty-four. Keep that head in line with that spine. Don't look down at the floor. Twenty-eight. 30, almost there, 32, 34, 36, hang in there guys, we're almost there, 38, 40, Woo! I didn't have to drop, that's exciting, <laughs> alright guys, so no weights for this one, we're doing 45 arm circles. Everybody's favorite, right? You're going to feel so good after all that shoulder work. So we're going to drop those shoulders down, extend those arms out, and we're going to do little circles about halfway through. We're going to switch and go backwards. So let's circle forward, little circles. So we're not doing this, little. The more small, the more intense. All right, let's go. Five, eight, four, two. Those arms up. Three, twenty-two. Flip it back. Twenty-two, twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. Nothing like some arm circles to get you burning, right? All right. So we're gonna come down to the floor. And we're going to set up for what's called a locomotion. I've only done this maybe once over with you guys. It's a great tricep exercise. Um, it's also a little bit of chest, like a close grip chest press. So we're going to take our weights. You're going to want to go towards your lighter end on this. Maybe not your lightest, but towards the lighter end. We've got our arms up at 11s. So this is a fluid motion. We're going to drop elbows straight down and push up. And while we're pushing up, the other comes down. So think about, it's called locomotion because they can like a choo-choo train, right? So that's how we're moving. We've got 50 of these. We set it up. I'm only going to count out like every 10 because this moves kind of quickly. All right, let's go. Ah, all right, I see Sandy peeked in on us. 
Hey friend! <laughs> Thanks for taking a, a little break from those great grandbabies to say hello. I think you will enjoy this one. <sighs> it will definitely get those arms talking to you for sure. All right, guys, so again, we're going to start at the 50 locomotions, and then we're going to work our way back up through that pyramid. Um, actually, let me check the time real quick, just so I can take a guess. Okay, so the next rounds are going to be much faster, so we'll make it a goal before we're done to get it up, back to the top, and then down and up one more time. So we'll get through the pyramid two full times. All right, let's make that our goal. So I'm going to cut the chit-chat. Let's get back down to the floor. And we're going to go right back to those locomotions. All right, guys. So, got our weights over our chest at 11. So, you just want to make sure those elbows are coming straight down by that body, not out over here. Okay? All right, guys. Let's go. Again, I'm going to count it out by 10s. Three, two, Twenty. You might start getting heavy or faster. Thirty. Forty. Three, two, one, fifty. Good job, guys. Woo. All right. So we're going to come back up to standing. Got like this little weight fortress around my mat here with all my weights set up. All right, so we've got those arm circles right to it. Let's get set up, shoulders down, fingers pointed out. Remember, small circles, the smaller the better. Let's go. Forward. Six, 25, 24. Flip it, 23, 22, 21, 20. Fourteen, 
16. I'm going to try to make it to 20 again. 18. 20. All right, I'm dropping weight. Feel free to keep moving. 22. Yes, 22. 24. 26. 28. Woo, y'all. 30. Almost there. 32. 33. 34. 35. Ah! Woo! Man, oh man. When I wrote that, I was like, that's going to be tough. I think I was right. <laughs> all right, we've got alternating bicep curls. Oh, no, not 15. All right, so we've got our 30. Alternating bicep curls. So again, you've got the choice of the hammer grip, that traditional grip, or you can twist it to the top, whichever way you want to be. Let's do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway there, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, super close, hang in there, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, so close, 27, 28, 29, 30. Wonderful job. Set those weights down. We're now moving into the floor portion. Already there, right? Huh. Floor portion. So we've got our plank saws. Everybody's favorite in the whole wide world. Plank saws. So remember, we want to try to do those 11s to work on externally rotating those shoulders and opening that chest, okay? Give it your best shot. I know it's asking a lot on top of everything else this exercise asks for. All right. Put our arms at 11. Step back into our plank. And we rock. Keeping that core engaged. Pull in flat. 20. 19. Pelvic floor up and in. 18. 17. 16. 15. Pushing energetically out of those elbows, just like we do our hands and play. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. Seven, almost there, guys. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job. All right, we've got our alternating seated overhead press. Just gonna come down to our seat, get our weights set up for us. Perfect. So again, you can sit cross-legged. Um, that's sort of a meet in the middle. Still challenging, because we're still seated, challenging our core, but to really get the max challenge, you'll want to kick those legs out. So now our base is less steady. We're needing our core even more. All right, we've got 20. Let's get it set up, and let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Make sure that core is engaged. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, woo! Sixteen, heavy, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. All right. We're going to lay it back. We've got our bench press. So remember, if you've got 
heavy weight. Kind of set yourself up for success. Don't hurt your back. So we'll turn, get ready for our seated or for our lying position. Throw weights on our knees and let those knees kick them back for us. Ah. So I like to make sure my shoulders are tucked under, neck long, spine long, weights over chest, not over your face or your throat, over that chest. We've got 15. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. Feel that big stretch, squeeze the stretch. Five, four, three. Two, one, good job. Turn those weights. You can, and it's safe, you can drop your elbows and then drop the weights. And we have got the dumbbell pullover. So we're still down here on the floor. And so if your weight isn't too heavy for your dumbbell pullover, you can stay laying and kind of reach over and grab it. If it's a heavy weight, please be mindful and sit up. Even though that's a little challenging for me right now, I'm still going to do it because a little bit of vertigo is safer than throwing my back out. <laughs> All right, so we've got that weight goblet position over our chest. Again, kind of set up that spine, those shoulders. Then we drop it straight back, a little bit of bend in those elbows, pull it over. So think about those big muscles down your spine, lowering this weight, and then squeezing and pulling back over. So they're Extending out, three, and then pull it over. Stretch them out, four, pull them over, five, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Perfect. So again, if you can safely offload that weight, go for it. And we're going to get up ready for our push up. Get my collection of weights out of the way here. All right, so we've got five push ups and we'll have made it to the top again. All right, so set that modification up if you need it. Pull plank, drop to knees, or go to the wall. If you need further modification, no shame in that. We're going to drop down. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. We made it. We made it back to the top. Yes. Awesome job, guys. All right, so we're going to take another brief pause, catch our breath, get some water, and then we're going to start back at the top. Work our way down. <sighs> so if you have any questions that we've gone through twice, of course, feel free to shoot me a comment on the video. And bless. Uh, you are just, whew, your arms are too weak to reach out to the phone or the device. <laughs> Probably not there yet. Maybe you are if you are. Awesome work. Incredible. So on this dumbbell pullover, guys, that's one exercise where even if you're a beginner, the weight's going to be pretty heavy. And I don't mean go pick up a 35 if you're a beginner. That's not what I'm saying. But if you're a beginner, you might, that might be the heaviest weight that you do if you're a beginner. Or really anybody. It's one of the heaviest weights you'll do. You've got a lot of power because you're really pulling through all of these muscles through here. So if you're doing that dumbbell pullover and you're like, nah, nothing, you might need heavier weight. Heavier weight doesn't do it. There's some other ways. So, don't want to waste a whole bunch of time in the video talking about it. If you have any questions about that pullover, let me know. I'm happy to talk you through how to get the most out of it. All right, I'm going to check the video, check time, see how we're doing, and then we're going to start the top of that pyramid again.
Yes, upper body is on fire. I hear you, Tricia. Woo! Yes. <laughs> My shoulders are like when we did the, um, I think it's that plank saw, overhead press, bench press, like back to back to back. It's like, oh, woo. Ah, I love it. All right, guys. So let's get back down to the floor. We've got five push-ups. And I think we're going to have time. We're just going to have to move briskly, but I think we can get through up and down again. All right. So no more chit chat for me. Let's get started. We got our push-ups. You know how to modify at this point if you need it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Push-ups in the books. All right. So we'll go to our dumbbell pullover. Now, I know I'm trying to be speedy moving between exercises and moving between breaks, but that does not mean that we speed our reps up. So our reps still move at the appropriate pace. Everything else is what's picking up the pace. All right, goblet over our chest. We drop it back. Ten. Expand. Contract. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Also, don't be surprised, guys, if you're feeling some ads when we do these. Definitely normal, okay? So do not feel like you're doing anything wrong if you're feeling ads or that there's something wrong. Your abs are definitely in the play because your abs are also catching that heavy weight coming back over your head. So your abs are also contracting and expanding, too. All right, 15 bench press. Let's go ahead and get ourselves set up again. Ooh, doesn't it feel like you were just here? <laughs> All right, guys, so weight over our chest. We're going for 15. Let's go. Stretch, squeeze, 14. Really think about that chest, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, almost there, four, three, two, one, perfect. Set those weights down, we're going to come back up. <sighs> Man, oh man, upper body making it happen. <sighs> All right, so we can get set up for that overhead press. Woo, I know these are going to feel like fire almost immediately for me. I can already tell you, my shoulders are fully engaged. <laughs> All right, so get set up. We've got that core locked in nice and tight. We go for 20. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, heavy, heavy, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Last one, 20. Woo! Oh man, that's gonna be rough on that last trip down the pyramid, or the trip back up the pyramid, I should say. I see it in my future. <laughs> All right, we've got plain saws. Ah. So again, I'm gonna keep talking about it because it's the opposite of what our body wants to do. We want hands at 11, arms at 11s, okay? I don't mean 11 on the clock. I mean, making two ones with your hands, okay? All right, 
So we've got 11s underneath us, elbows under shoulders, low plank, core engaged. Let's go. Belly nice and flat. Pelvic floor till up and in, like you're sucking something up and in. 15, 14, 13, 12. Energetically pushing out those elbows. 10, 9, you got it. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! Man, shoulders on fire. Core, really. I really started feeling it. I mean, it's always working, that low plank, but I really started feeling the kick in on that one. All right, we've got our alternating bicep curls. So again, reminder, get up slowly, be mindful, I say that. Obviously, I keep emphasizing it for myself personally today. That's always a good idea. Hey. All right, so this has been on the floor for a long time. All right. 30 all training bicep curls. You guys ready? All right, let's do it. Four. Okay, my practice counting in twos today. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. 16. You know they're getting heavy, guys. 18. Remember, drop the weights if you absolutely have to. Don't stop. 20. 22. 24. 26. 28. Almost there. Last one, 30. Awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome. All right, set those down. So we are most likely switching weights now. So we're going to do that bent arm, side, and front. So I'm going to practice what I preach. I'm going to try again huh, to do the tens, the heavier weight, and then I'm going to drop it when I need to. Okay? Huh. So we've got 35, bend those arms, take those shoulders down, 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 two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm going to try to get to 20. I've got to 20 on all the previous. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, I'm dropping. <sighs> 21. Going <sighs> five pounds. <sighs> We're used to lifting like 20. Feels like 20, 32, 33, 34, 35. Oh man, guys. I'm gonna grab myself a quick drink. All right, we have got the alternating tricep kickbacks. So I know we're all getting tired. Still, fight that urge to swing those kickbacks. If you are only able to swing, then drop the weights, okay? That's all that means. All right, set it back. Let's go. Two. Six. Ten. Twelve. 
12, 14, 16, 18, check in, make sure, 20, that you're squeezing at the top, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, almost there, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, nice work, all right, we've got arm circles, and then locomotions, and we'll be at the bottom, we'll take a super quick break, and then we'll go right back to it, and get to the top, all right, Arm circles, arms come out, circle to the forward first, shoulders down, not up here, little circles. Let's go. One, two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, stop it, reverse, twenty-four. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. Woo woo! Oh, speaking of woo woo, locomotions. <laughs> so let's come down. We've got our locomotions here. Ah, I am ah, going to get myself set up here. I was contemplating maybe going up in the way, but. Uh, considering what I've got going on, probably not the brightest idea I've ever had, so I'm going to ignore that, <laughs> lay it back. We've got our locomotions. Whew. Arms up at 11s. Remember, fluid motion. I'm going to count to the 10s. Let's go. Keep those arms close. 30. 40. Last 10. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Set those weights down. We're going to take a super quick break. And then we will get started back here in these locomotions. Ah. Oh boy. All right, grab yourself some water. Mm -hmm. Ooh, how are you guys doing? Got some upper body fire happening. Oh. I definitely do. Just like that good fire. Like it's tired, it's burned, it's working, but it's not per se hurting. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to check the camera, check the time, make sure that we're not just way too close to an hour, and then we're going to get started, okay? Yes, so happy to hear you feel great, Caroline. All right, so we are close to an hour on time. But I know that I always talk about 10 set or 10 minutes in the beginning. So let's do it, guys. If you want to drop out, if you hit your limit, I totally understand. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the last climb to the top. All right? We're just going to move fast, just like we just did. Should only take about 12 minutes or so. All right? So let's go to our locomotions. Let's lay it back. <sighs> Arms up overhead. Let's do it. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Into the locomotions. Locomotions are done. They're out of your life. <laughs> I also remember that I started a few minutes late, too. So that's another reason why we're so close. All right, so we've got arm circles and then clear my space just a little bit here. All right, so we've got our arm circles. Arms up, long, shoulders really down. Let's go. One, seven, small circles. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Flip it. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, almost there, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. That was forty-five in total. I only counted the twenties. All right, we've got our alternating tricep kickbacks. So remember, I know we're moving quickly, but we're not speeding the reps up. We're just moving quickly in between exercises. Gotta get your sweat going too, right? All right, guys. Let's kick it back. Kick it back, not swing it back. Three. Eight. Squeeze in the back of those arms. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. I know those triceps are talking. 22. Drop weights if you need it. 24. 26. 28. 30. 32. Almost there. 34. 36. 38. 39. 40, boom, done. All right, so we've got those bent arm, side and front raises. So I'm gonna stick with what I've been doing. I'm gonna try to get to 20 for these weights I got. So if you're having to drop weights, and stuff like I am for this one, just kind of set that goal. It's so what you've been doing and see if you can do it one last time. Whew. Now this one feels like hot fire for sure. All right, guys. Shoulders, core nice and engaged. Let's do it. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. 14, Woo! that's about where it starts to get me every time. 16, 18, 20, I'm dropping. You can keep going if you need to. If you're not dropping, 21, 24, 26, 28, 30, woo, 32, 34, 35, boom, woo, man, I think those are getting me the most intensely, for sure. All right, guys, we've got our alternating bicep curls. <sighs> Have a little pep talk. Come on, guys. We got this. <laughs> All right, guys. Set it back. You've got your three different grip options, the hammer, that kind of traditional, and the twist, whichever one you want. Let's do this. You guys, 12. I know this isn't easy. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 
13. Sometimes it's mentally tough too. 16. Hearing these big numbers counting down. 18. And no one wants ahead of you. 20. But we have to overcome mental challenges every day. 22. It's good training for that too, you know? Mental training. 24. 26. 28. 29, 30. Nice job, guys. All right, let's bring it down to the floor. We're in the home stretch. Oh, we just have to get over this plank saw hop, right? All right, so let's bring it down. Okay, dope. So remember, we want to try to make those number 11s with our arms. Energetically, just like I say, push up energetically with your hands in a plank. Pushing up energetically out of those elbows, pushing away. All right, let's get it set. All right, let's do it. Engage that core, engage that pelvic floor. make you think I forgot to count. 10, 9, 8. You can do it. 7, keep pushing. 6, 5, 4, 3, last 2, 1. Woo! Nice, nice, nice work, guys. That is not easy. I knew putting 25 of a plank fall was a challenge. <sighs> but what a good challenge, right? That feels so awesome when you accomplish it. And now you know. Now you know you can do it, right? You probably wouldn't have tried 25 before. Now you know you can. All right, let's get ourselves set up. Woo, make sure we're on those sits bones, nice and firm. Legs out, core engaged. Woo, these are gonna burn, at least for me. All right, let's go. Two. Five, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Amazing job, guys. All right, we are almost there. We've got five push-ups. That is it. So let's not even dwell on them. Let's just get up and do it, all right? I'm gonna slide this out of the way. So let's just do it. Set them up. Shoulders nice and strong. I'm gonna set my modification. Feeling good? Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good thing it wasn't before the five. <laughs> I'm not sure I could've made it. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed the pyramid style workout. Just another way, right, to move our bodies, push ourselves in different ways, be safe about it, be mindful, and also try some new exercises. How often do we throw this into our work? But when we do it, we're like, oh gosh, that's such good work. Why don't I do that, right? So. Again, thank you for trying both the pyramid. I hope you enjoyed it. So our next workout um, will be Tuesday night. We're gonna do another pyramid, but it's gonna be lower body pyramid. So that's gonna be intense too. That's the thing. I mean, we dig in and we stay in there. So it's gonna be a super intense, but great workout. If you enjoyed this, you'll love that one too. So thank you so much for joining me. It was so great to see you here, Caroline and Trisha. And uh, I think there's a few others. I'm sorry that I missed you. But thank you so much for being here. It was super fun working out with you today. Again, as always, please share my workout, share my page, share the love, and know that I thank you when you do. And if you do wish to donate any money for these classes, Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you find me, and I will also thank you tremendously for that. So you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourself. Love one another. Be safe out there. Mwah.